All right, so here we're with our Crossfire Pro. We've got it assembled, and we're gonna do our first real cut. We've, we've cut the aluminum, we've also cut some steel, and now we have a design that we exported out of Fusion 360. It's a spur gear, and it's about three and a half inches in diameter. Uh, we don't have any water in our water table yet. We're just, um, well, we couldn't wait, so we just started uh, just start cutting stuff. We're gonna go ahead and uh, redo the uh, drainage ports on here. It's a little easier to drain. Uh, but if, if we're, uh, we got the aluminum back in there. We're using our cut 45. We have the power turned all the way down and we've been, we've been screwing up this test gear a lot. So let's hope that this gets through. And here we go, we're gonna hit the start here. No, leave it on. It's still on. Okay, this is the problem we had before. We get, we get, we got actually got a lot farther along this time. But what happened? It was cut great. I was thinking, how are we gonna make it? Yes, we blew the breaker. We've blown the breaker, uh, so we have to do some more electrical work here in order for this thing to be functional or make some smaller cuts. Um, but as you can see, I mean. We, we, we were doing great. Oh yeah, the cuts are great. Um, what ended up happening, well, we say that the, uh, the breaker gets cut. So what that does is it turns off the power supply to the uh, Crossfire Pro um, control unit. Power supply in there is actually only a power for the stepper motor drivers. It's the USB section of it, the control board is actually still functioning. So over here, the uh, fire control is still active. We have a, a warning here that tells us the way the error dialogue. It tells us what the problem was, but the real problem was we blew the breaker. So our torch went off, the stepper driver motors went off, and uh, we may be able to restart this right here after we flip the breaker. So we'll be right back and we're going to flip the breaker and see if we can restart it where we are. All right, so I've got the breaker turned back on again, and we're going to show you the, the, uh, the screen here. I didn't touch anything on this side of it. So this is the dialog box. It gives you some tips on what to do here, possible causes. I'm going to hit this retry cut, which I don't know what it does, but we're going to try this thing. Okay, so it says run from, run from loop starts at line 34. Please be certain to jog your machine up to a suitable clearance height before running your program. So let's jog it up. I think you have to hit load program. If we hit load program, we don't we can't jog it up. So we're gonna do a jog up a little bit. There we go. And then I don't know what it's gonna do. Looks like in the right position. It is. It's in the right position. And it looks like it's set. Well, I saw some G gun. Oh, yeah. G90, G94. Okay. So hopefully it just. Let's see if it's going to start from this position. No, it started from up there. Okay. So it only does one loop at a time? I don't know. Okay, so. 
it's clear that we have some learning to do, um, but we're not going to screw around anymore today. We're going to go ahead and redo our electrical in this room so we can run this and actually make this a production machine for all of our prototype, our prototype work. All right, uh, thanks for watching.